citizen coming at you. Just wanted to post an update on the Kawasaki windshield I installed on my 2018 old one. Uh, there's two clips or two sections. The first one is showing the new windscreen. Uh, the second one is showing the original stock windscreen. Uh, the new windscreen, as I said in the previous video, has the same dimensions on the, the lower width. But on the upper width, right before the curve towards the uh, top, it's two inches wider. So as you look through the clips, I would say uh, take a look at or pay attention to uh, my jacket maybe. If you look at the shoulder, the upper back section, uh, check how it moves. Uh, it seems like uh, with the original stock windscreen, uh, you see a lot more buffeting. I think the windscreen pretty much does what it says it's going to do. I think the buffeting is a lot less. I don't know if you can tell from the, the two clips or sections, but it seems as if I can keep the Kawasaki windscreen lower and still avoid having wind buffeting over my helmet. And you can see in the clips where uh, I put my hand up to try to measure where the air is coming like right over my helmet. And I usually adjust to that. Uh, most times I ride with the windscreen uh, just below the horizon uh, so I can see just over the top of it uh, but again you can look and judge for yourself the different heights between the two screens uh, the price is good uh, only being two hundred dollars for the for the actual uh, windscreen so is it worth it I would say yes uh, it, it does scratch more easily than some of the other more expensive ones that are three hundred plus dollars but the website does provide info on how to clean up the scratches, how to make your own uh, cleaning solvent or agent, and uh, uh, just just all around good um, you know info on how to protect and uh, keep it up. So I will say this though: if you put the windscreen all the way up to where it's pretty much vertical, uh, that vent is pretty much staring you in the face, maybe a little bit lower than, than eye level. And the wind, even though as it comes through, it seems like it's trying to uh, meet with the airflow going over the top of the windscreen. I don't think it actually, uh, you know, achieves it, especially at higher speeds, like 70 miles an hour or whatever. So I would definitely keep the windscreen, uh, you know, lower while using it. And of course, that extra airflow probably helps out in the summer. All right. Thanks for watching.